In 2011 Mercedes presented a car with four engines located in each wheel, something that seemed novel for the time, but that passed without shame or glory, despite this recent innovations could be the key for us to see engines in the wheels in production. Today we will see how they work, what advantages they offer, and above all why they could change everything. The idea of integrating engines into the wheels of a vehicle is not new. In fact, it dates back to the early 20th century, when Ferdinand Porsche developed the revolutionary loner Porsche Mixed, one of the world's first hybrid cars. This electric hybrid vehicle used electric motors mounted on the front wheels, eliminating the need for a conventional transmission system. Although advanced for its time, its complexity, which we will discuss in a moment, and the weight of the batteries limited its mass adoption. The interesting thing about this type of engine is its flexibility, since they can be used for front, rear or single wheel drive. They are compact and therefore allow more space for passengers, cargo or other vehicle components. They allow for better weight distribution compared to a single engine, and eliminate the need for many of the transmission components of traditional vehicles, such as driver shafts, differentials and axles, which reduces wear and tear and mechanical losses. However, you have probably already seen its major disadvantage, which is that the weight of the engine is not supported by the suspension dampers, adding to the unsprung weight of the vehicle, which negatively affects handling and ride quality. In the following decades, the idea was put on the back burner due to the evolution of internal combustion engines and mechanical transmission systems, which offered greater efficiency and simplicity. Despite this, in-wheel engines began to re-emerge in the mid-20th century, especially in military and special applications, where independent traction on each wheel was an advantage. In the 1970s, in-wheel motor electric vehicle concepts were explored in pilot projects, but technological limitations, such as thermal management and durability, slowed their development. It was not until the early 21st century that advances in materials, electronics and magnetic design enabled a new wave of innovation. With the advent of modern electric vehicles, in-wheel motors are re-emerging as a viable solution. Their ability to free up space in the chassis and offer more precise traction control and stability has captured the attention of innovative companies around the world. Now, at CES 2025, three major players are taking this technology to the next level. Donut Motors, Deep Drive and Elaif. I'll show you the three solutions and you can comment on which one convinces you the most. Let's start with Donut Motors, a subsidiary of Verge Motorcycles, is challenging the limits of engineering with their ultra-compact and powerful in-wheel motors. Inspired by reverse radial flux designs, their motors maximize magnetic force by placing permanent magnets in a carbon fiber hoop. The hypercar model, with 845 horsepower and 3,172 lbft of torque, promises impressive performance in a package that weighs only 88 pounds. In addition, Donut Motors claims that its systems can reduce overall vehicle weight, save space for passengers or cargo, and cut production costs by up to $2,000 per unit. While there are still questions about how they integrate braking systems, this breakthrough could be the starting point for a revolution in automotive design. Deep Drive has caught the attention of giants such as BMW and Continental, thanks to its unique design with a single stator that energizes two rotors. This approach reduces energy losses and allows for greater material and cooling efficiency. Although the exact design remains a closely guarded secret, the integration of drum brakes as part of the system demonstrates its innovative approach to maintaining functionality in a compact package. The first commercial applications of Deep Drive are expected to arrive in 2028, positioning it as a key player in the future of electric mobility. And finally we have Elaif's proposal. Its ring motors are designed for high-performance vehicles and allow the integration of large conventional brakes, offering exceptional capabilities on the track. In addition, they stand out for their response capacity, 350 foot-pounds per millisecond and high-frequency sensors that improve traction control, braking and lateral acceleration. Elaif also adds an emotional dimension, generating vibrations and sounds that simulate the visceral experience of a combustion engine, something that could appeal to motorsport purists.
Although this technology faces challenges such as unsprung weight and maintenance complexity, its potential advantages are significant. By freeing up chassis space, reducing costs and offering unprecedented control, it could usher in a new era in automotive engineering. Will this be the next big step for electric vehicles?